Joanne Palmazano designs home interiors, but they're not your average rooms. She uses salvaged items, vintage pieces, Look at the detail. all kinds of old stuff, and she transforms them into one-of-a-kind designs. This house has an extra large hallway. A lot of homes have unusual spaces or space they just don't know what to do with. So Joanne is using salvage materials to transform this unused corner into a charming home office with bookshelves and a desk set. After taking careful measurements, Joanne has a good idea of the size and quantity of lumber and furniture she'll need to make her design fit in this corner. To build sturdy bookshelves, Joanne wanted to use salvaged floorboards, which are easy to find online, or you can do a search for architectural salvage centers in your area, like this one. Joanne found the perfect floorboards that had been recycled from an 1890s small town post office that was torn down. They're a little long, but she'll be able to cut them to the size she needs. Then she got it all home and started building. To transform floorboards into bookshelves, the first thing Joanne has to do is locate the studs in the wall with a stud finder. These are usually spaced 16 inches apart, but you should always double check before marring the wall. These shelves will be holding heavy books, so Joanne chose to use new brackets to make sure they're structurally sound, but she made sure to order some online that match the vintage look of the rest of the room. Once the studs are found and measurements are taken to make sure there's plenty of space for books between the shelves, the brackets are attached to the wall using 3-inch screws. Next, the salvage boards are prepped for their new home. Wood filler is added to the old nail holes, and the boards are sanded down to take a coat of paint. One end of each board is cut at a 45 degree angle using a miter saw, so this bookshelf will fit snugly with the corner. Then, the angled corners are joined with wood adhesive and metal brackets. After a few touch-ups of paint, the shelves are simply dropped into place. To finish off this office, Joanne added a desk and chair from a turn-of-the-century schoolhouse that she found at a swap meet. But the furniture needed a makeover. First, the old finish was sanded down to its original wood, and a coat of walnut wax was applied with rags to accentuate the beautiful wood grain and seal and protect the furnishings. It's something that most homes are missing. So the kids can sit down and do their computer work, sit down and read a book, They'll just enjoy this corner instead of just being a hall that they always just pass through. Now, this part of the house that people would just pass through is an inviting space to stop and spend some time. 